Were you around when Dutchie was shot by the police? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. When Dutchie got shot by the police, I remember it like it was yesterday. It was like a whole bunch of shots go off. You know, and, and then like you see the police flying. You see the police flying from all other way. They hitting St. Lawrence, Everhart, they hitting Rose. They 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 looking for it. We run over there. We trying to see what's going on. Hold and, on, hold on. Uh, uh, some, a block got shot up. So, yeah, a block so got was... shot up. They said old block got shot up. And okay. they the police blitz St. Lawrence. When when St. Lawrence gets shot, they go right in old block. When old block get when old block get shot up, the first blocks they gonna hit is Everhard, St. Lawrence, and Rose. Just assuming that they that they did it. So the police had seen Dutchie them. They coming so fast that Dutchie them on the block already. So when they seen the police blitzing, they they look like what the f going on? Man, the police ran over trail, shot Dutchie for no reason. Ain't find no gun or none of that. They had the um the the fire department with the letter. They hired them going on every roof on St. Lawrence, trying to find that gun, man, a gun that they never had, bro. So they shot Dutchie, put him in jail, and we went to court, me, Joe Jackson, and a lot of St. Lawrence members. We went to court. I'll never forget this. We go to court, and they up in there talking. Dutchie come out with his little brown uniform on and shit. Dutchie sitting there. He turned around to us, looked at us. He turned back, looked at his lawyer. And the judge, the judge said something, and... I'm like, wait a minute. Man, they ain't find no gun. They said that they found the gun on Dutchie. That's what they got in the transcripts, that they found the gun. So he in there for a gun that they ain't never found. So when we brought up the issue, like, what the f*** they mean? Go over there. They like, ain't they let Dutchie out. Dutchie end up, you know, whatever happened, whatever happened, Trail Mama end up getting good and, you know. But they that, that was a sad day, too, because Trail was on crutches you know, for a couple of weeks after that, and Dutchie was in jail. Damn. You remember, you know how bad he was shot? I think they only shot Dutchie one time, but I, it, 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 was, it was like his leg area. Like his leg area, because he was gimp. I remember he was limping when he came out, when he came out from the back of the, um, to come in court. He was limping, so it was his leg. Okay. You know, I've heard people say this before, like like you just mentioned it about Cash, like not knowing they ain't know he was from there, or this group of people didn't know this other person was from where they were from. So in Cali, that's really hard to do. Like a lot of the times when you meet somebody, you'll you'll introduce yourself as I'm so and so from this gang, like. Everybody knows what hood you're from in Cali. Like, it's, it's a real known thing. It's not too many. You, you're, you're not going to really find a situation where there's a dude and nobody knows that he's not from this gang. You know what I'm saying? Like, usually everybody, everybody knows. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, when, when, when dudes introduce themselves, they say that, you know what I'm saying, they say their hood name, and then they say what gang they're from. So... How does that happen in Chicago? You know what I'm saying? Like, how does that... I'm, I'm just curious about the cultural difference. Hey, Cam, I could bring you to any hood and be like, man, this is my cuz. Oh, what up, cuz? Okay. Like that, bro. It, it don't be no problem, bro. Like, like it don't be no problem. Like, I mean, it, it, it used to be like that. Like, who the fuck is dude? Like, when the projects was up, you weren't just walking in nobody's projects and then nobody know who you was and none of that. Now you could just be on the block. The people you from this block, and you come on the block, people will look at you, and it's your shit. Like, I done had that happen. I done went down on low end, and niggas acting like they wanted to shoot up the car. I had to bail out. Like, what's up, bro? They like, they like, I'm like, who is you? Oh, man, this our block? Nah, bro, hold on. Yeah, hey, you ain't going to shoot at my car. You can hide this block, but you, this, this where I come from. You know, then one of my homies slide out the building like, nah, bro, that's big bro. You know, it's just new niggas over there. They just let anybody around. Okay. Well, what I'm saying is, like, you know, so people, like, they don't, like, ask you, like, what gang you're from. You know what I'm saying? Like, when they meet you, Hell you know what I'm saying? No. They don't be like. Hell no. Nope. Like, like, unless they really know you. Like I said, like, like the average mom bring you to the hood and be like, this my homie. And everybody just around. They don't know if he gonna steal from them. They don't know if he gonna kill them. 
It's just they just going off getting high. You know, and that's how it be, man. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.